Hey everyone, Aeroball here, and today we're going to be looking at Star Raider Filch. And this is part of the Transformers Legacy United line, and she is a deluxe class figure. Now they, well at least my Walmart, just put out like pretty much all the Star Raiders. I go in today and they're all of them, except for Thundertron. He was there at one point earlier, I think. Or maybe I'm thinking of a different one. But, uh, yeah, so I bought four of them. Well, one of this, and I had three other figures. But, uh, yeah, this figure is actually the one that made me want to get them. I love the colors on this, and I like the look of the robot form. So, yeah. Turn it over here. We just see the 40th anniversary picture. Over here, we get two shots of her, one close-up. And the other one full figure. And then on the back, 21 steps to transform. And that just looks great. And I love the Star Raider symbol. It's like it, geez, has a whole bunch of things combined to make that. Uh, I don't know. Like, I see, like, Autobot, Decepticon, but I also see, like, Predacon? Like, I, I don't know. Like, it just merged, like, all of them to make it. I don't just what I see though. So let's get her open and take a closer look. And here's Star Raider Filch. It has the instructions here and United of course has that orange color. The weird thing is the instructions were on the bottom of the box underneath the uh, cardboard piece that they put her in. I don't know why it was down there like that. It I know they put it in there purposely, but now the directions have a crease to them that didn't need to be because it actually fits right in the back of the box if you wanted to, you know, not have to fold it. And for her accessories, she comes with these two wing pieces. Pretty cool. They got the purple and then a plum. No, no, a dark blue. And as you can see, you can either have them on her arms or she can hold them like a weapon. Alright, so Phil just looks great. Now, I think they used, I'm not sure, but I think they used Air Razor's mold for this. I could be wrong. But I think it just looks great. It has, you know, bird feet. So you get the wings here. You get some more in the back. You get a little tail feather there, or tail fan there. Now, the back of the lower legs hollow but good reason for that I do believe it's gonna fold into itself for the transformation you can see it's a bird head right there very cool I just love the wings on it so yeah when I saw this I was like I have to get this one just have to and I do believe it's a Walmart exclusive but because I got that and I saw the other ones I picked up three others to go with it I didn't pick up, was it Roadhog? Hmm. Hopefully it'll still be there next time I go. Get that one too. But, so this one has a lot of different colors. It has a purple. It has plum. Like it has a dark blue. And it has like this purplish gray. In places like the hands and... Around the legs, in the middle area, underneath the uh, head. And there's some teal on it. So we got these great looking teal eyes that have some black going around it. The way it makes it stand out. And a little bit of teal down on the legs. Alright, so articulation. Uh, I'm going to take these off for this because they're going to get in the way. Now with mine, everything seems to be really kind of tight. All the joints, everything. So yours may not be like it, it might be easier to move. But let's see, we got the head, it can go all the way around. It can look up pretty good. And down. There is no side to side. We get the arms, they can go all the way around. They can twist, they can go out to 90, 
and a single jointed elbow, but it'll get a little past 90, just a little bit. And the hands, they don't spin, but you can fold them up. Then we get the waist, move the arms out of the way. Waist will go all the way around. Then we get the legs, they can go past 90 really far. I mean past 180 really far. <laughs> wow. Put those back down. And go forward. Pretty much all the way up to the head. Now, ah, this thing keeps wanting to come loose. That's the only thing I can find that I don't like is the, uh, right here. Doesn't really want to connect and stay. Alright, so back. Almost a 90. It starts to hit the tail fan back here. So we got the legs, they'll spin up the knee area, and the knee is single jointed. And again, it can't go all the way in, you got the tail thing here. Now the legs, or well, right above the uh, feet I mean, has this little extra joint, you know, for when it has to transform. But then we get the feet. Now the feet, just a ball joint, so Goes around, up, down. You can kind of go side to or angle it side to side. I'm gonna get this thing transformed, and we'll take a look at that. All right, here is Filch in her. I don't know if it's supposed to be a hawk or what, but it looks great. Nice ring span. Colors look great on this thing. And you know what? I like the eyes on this. So it's got the teal, yellow. And the uh, dark, well, purple going around it. Very cool. So you can move the wings right here, the uh, attachments you put on. So you can go like that. Or you can fold them in different spots. Well, that's how it pr probably be, is right here near the shoulder area. Very cool. The feet can move. It is a little bit forward heavy, so you kind of have to have it positioned at an angle. Because if you go down, it'll just fall over. But nice. And I had no problems putting this together. It was super easy. Alright, well that's just been my review of Transformers Legacy United Star Raider Filch. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And as always, you all have yourselves a good one, and I will see you later.